it must be T. Richard. So T. Richard going on a crazy run in Rivals 2. Maple's good character. Ooh, we are going. And Richard is a good Maple in both games. Richard's just a good player. He's he's good at a lot of games. He's a, a gamer through and through. Rice right, getting our first opening here. Quick 77. We're going to see a lot of uh, player-specific callouts, I think, more so than that we'd expect to see. Ooh, Ooh there's first stock. Sam was looking to, to reset Steen there. I don't think he was trying to up be on the stage that early. And that is one thing usually I'm, I'm so impressed by uh, from Willow. The the steam control off stage, how he resets steam, I think that's one of the, the, the characteristics of the best sellies. Um, not easy to do because you, you need to recognize early on which, which mix-ups you're willing to play. And Rice does survive the up tilt, but I don't know that he's going to survive this one. That just kills. I, I guess he was pretty close to the blast zone, but I didn't expect that. I was shocked he survived the first one, to be honest. Ellie up tilt, there's so many nuanced mechanics to it. It depends on how much team you have. I'm pretty sure you can change the knockback based on, like... And you can choose whether to, to go out of heat or not go out of heat. We saw yeah. yesterday um, when Willow played MSB, um, he got a crazy stock where MSB was at 0% and uh, Willow chose to not get rid of the heat and immediately went into a uh, jump down smash and killed MSB at 30. <laughs> so, so funny. Oh. I did leave my ibuprofen in the car, so I will need to probably bail out a bit earlier. Okay. Ooh, double F smash. But, Classic. Shovel Knight's, he's slippery, he's sneaky. Somehow uh, feels like he can always find his way through. We are last stock. Um, both players have shown, you know, it's it's in within reach pretty quick. Yeah, Sam's kind of running away, getting 60% of the first interaction to come back. Oh, kidnapped. <gasps> Okay, it's, he does land. Ooh. Almost got SK'd. That was a that was a crazy call out. If that had hit, that would have been game. That was terrifying. I was terrified for him. Okay, this is potentially a big opening. The juggle's not an easy situation. Um, they both found, find their way to the ground, but it's uh, it, it feels like it's so close. Yeah, that, that's what we were talking about. Where up here is just kind of. Once you get hit, you're gonna get hit. It's and and I think it's the up tilt that sets it up a lot of the times. You you get caught by the up tilt. It's it's so hard then to not get hit by the up air. And at that point, it's it's basically done. If you di away from from uh, from the up air, um, shovel knight also always gets back air. Uh, but you know what? Ellie has her own back airs. Ellie's got some moves. We did see an early SD from Sam game one. So, That's with it being that close, I think we can expect a, 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 a competitive set here. What I will say, Ellie as a character, you, you always, I think, have to play on the margin that, that something tragic is going to happen to one of your stocks. Um, because somehow, something tragic will always happen to one <laughs> of your stocks. Um, it's true. I, I think... At some point, you have some control. He just hit it off of him and then back onto himself. Yep, that's uh, that's that's a classic. I think uh, the way mine works these days, where uh, it, it falls off on the hit, can sometimes lead to really interesting interactions, um, where where you get it off you and then it goes back on, and then in, in doubles it's especially funny where. Uh, it can go between you and your teammate and the opponents. Good double up air. Yeah, Rice knows exactly what uh, Willow is trying to fish for. Fully ready. And, you know, it, it feels like Willow's been in the lead consistently, but then, then Rice sort of claws his way back. He finds this kind of reversal, and then it's 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 all the Ellie disadvantage show. 
did land on Sage. And can you get out? Oh, great Ooh. DI to sneak out there. That was tricky. <laughs> Charges that smash at the ledge. A little Solid. closing it out. And uh, it's still, like, it's basically one up tilt away. So <laughs> you up tilt up air here is Rice and you're, you're in it. Yeah, this is going to be big percent up from Willow. 70% off one interaction is a lot, and it's still going. Ah, just times it. Oh, great. Uh, great missile there. Ellie's one of those characters, if you give her an inch, she will take as much as she can from it. She kind of has to. You see it time and time again where Ellie's just kind of blow someone up. This should be it. And I will say, I think Ellie's maybe um, the, the best player base when it comes to parrying projectiles. It feels like you give them anything and they're, they're always ready to parry it. Uh, you, I think tr you truly kind of have to. Ellie is in disadvantage, we said earlier, not a good character. Oh, you try to call try to call him out. Oh, this will not be it. Rice gets another chance at life here. Unfortunately, Ellie doesn't have just guaranteed one hit kills on the ground, so you, she kind of has to make that, that call of how is she going to get that kill, and it's not always the easiest. Incredible recovery from Rice. Ooh. Oh, and this can go. I This is so close. Oh. oh, the Rocket Fist. He does not get the strong hit. And there we okay, go. Okay, there we go. go. He is the best. The best Ellie here. Might be the only Ellie here, I think too. He's the only here. I think Cyberhex technically has an Ellie, but like... Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. But like, we, we didn't see that, so... Highest placing Ellie. Yeah, we didn't see uh, the, the Ellie at all this weekend from Cyber. Uh, oh, Salt Mine. Not quite enough, but that was, uh, I think... If he had had just a little bit of chip before that combo started, that would have been death. And uh, the story of this set so far has been it's it's. Uh, oh. It feels like Sam's got the, the the huge conversions, and then Rice is like just hanging in there barely. Yeah, I I think they, he just knows the matchup well enough that he's got some bread and butters he can stick to. But I think Sam is. Um, playing, playing neutral, I think. More specific to Rice than to SK. Up tilt, up air. Okay, no backer there. Good DI from Sam. Ooh. Four nairs. Mm, not enough fifth? hover. If you have just a little bit more uh, hover to work with there, you'll you'll always get the strong nair, but just not quite enough. Three socks to one. This feels like uh, this is Willow's game to lose at this point. Uh, hard to make this comeback as Rice. Definitely doable though. Um, okay. He's gonna, he's gonna get armor here. That's a good way to start. Okay. Now all you need, you play, you play a solid stock, um, and then uh, you kidnap the Ellie with mobile gear. <laughs> Gotta kidnap the Ellie. Ooh, big up tilt. Uh, it's hard to find though. It's always a call out when you when you go low against the Ellie up tilt. Um, the the Ellie has to call out um, basically the the height you're gonna drop at to try to find that that drop zone nair. It's uh, not as as easy as sometimes the Ellies make it look. Um, I think going high versus the up tilt is very dangerous. Then the, the Ellies convert very consistently. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly big for a skinny little chain. Oh, that was a scary roll. Oh, up till beat the rocket fist there. We're fishing a little bit here. But I think at this percent. Ooh, ooh nice spike. Right there. Okay. I mean, Rice is still in it, but th this is really hard. I, yeah, I think that's dead. That, that DI is hard. Um, I think you probably would have died at the top if it wasn't. Um, 
It's best of five. Oh, <laughs> I thought his answer was best of five. He just wants an Eliana charm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the some some to do mid set. Oh, did they just call that they were leaving or something? Oh, uh, that might be why. Possibly. Priorities. You know what? That is important. You yeah. gotta give it to him. The uh, I think we are approaching. Uh, I think. The end of this rivals two bracket. As I think well. this is loose. Oh, the rulers quarters. We've got some time. I think they said they wanted to stream all of rivals two. Uh, do they on the main? Yeah. Uh, okay. Last I heard. Okay. Kyle, so can you confirm that? Kyle. Yeah. Gotcha. So yeah, they're gonna finish streaming all of Rivals 2 on mainstream. Uh, then we're gonna switch over to uh, Rivals 8 through top 16. Then after that, we'll do top four redemption, which we are encroaching. So I think uh, Willow with that does make top four for them. Well, wait, no, this set is still going on. It's two one. I got distracted wait, did, by Willow. Did Rice win that last game? Uh, no. This is. It's definitely two one Willow. I was not fully paid to attention, I'll be honest. I, I got distracted by uh, by Willow going to reserve the... Uh... <laughs> like I said, priorities. But uh, I think this is a good a good stage pick for Rice. It is. This and and this is still very much doable for Rice. Ooh, that's a really that's good conversion from Sam. And Sam has been DIing these up there as well. Good guy did not get reverse anchored there. You get reverse anchored there, and you are dead. Yeah, Ellie, one of the one of the characters that can actually di that and not be scared of a, of a follow up edge guard. Uh, some some characters it's almost inevitable, but yeah, I, I think it depends a lot if if you have to go low or if you you have some ability to float out there. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good catch, but no charge. But Narrow ends it up anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, Melly is a flowchart character, and she will do whatever she wants if she thinks it's right. But uh, the edge guard continues for Rice. Uh, you do have to be careful, though. If you just go for the up strong, uh, if the Ellie has the, the the heat to be able to go over you, uh, it does not cover like it does in many matchups. Yeah. Last stock, doable for both players. Uh, I, I like Rice's pressure here, but can easily turn into an Ellie moment. Sam is putting on a lot of percent here. I mean, really, any any big opening now for for Willow is 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 gonna be the end. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> edge, nice. Edge cancels bear off of gear. That's some shovel knight stuff. We love shovel knight. Oh, double up tilt. Ooh. Up strong. Was it ready for that to hit so it doesn't get the, the follow-up off it? <gasps> oh, it blocks! <laughs> so much spaghetti. Do you like Italian? I'm we a got big fan. We got some spaghetti here for you. But I, I don't blame Willow there. Um, you you can barely see there. There's a pixel that it's overhanging. It doesn't look like it's overhanging. Ooh. So so he's thinking, well, I'm just going to ride the wall. Well, you did, knock your head. Did he get caught on the bottom of it? Or did he just no, not? No, he, he got caught on the bottom. Oof. And you, you basically Rub. can't see it. I don't know if Rice knew that it was going to block. He probably did, actually. I, I think I think he knew that there, there was a chance. I don't think he knew for for sure, but I think he was ready for the funny. He, he might know the spacing, to be honest. That's that would be a shovel knight thing, where like you get no okay if it, it'll if, overhang if, just a little if I stand here. I'll be honest. If Rice knew that spacing that well, he's the best player alive. Oh. Nah, I, Oh, <laughs> that's good percent, but it, it, we're not there yet. <laughs> he keeps Almost dragging down with the anchor. Almost killed off the top. That was crazy. I feel like I I never think about anchor resets for Shovel Knight. <laughs> I, you know, with these side specials, I'm not sure 
the Sam's getting much off of them. Ooh. It's a good up smash. But he, he keeps throwing them out, like, trying to get something. But, ooh. <laughs> ooh, nice rocket fist. As I say it, commentator creates my right. No. Okay, he, he didn't get the purchase. I, w I wasn't he, sure if he got what he wanted. He did. He got it. Okay. Mine off. Mine on stage, I think, is still totally fine. Oh, I, yeah. I know they've... They mess around with Ellie's properties a lot, but I think this is probably the healthiest it's been. Um. Oh. Great DI uh, for Mice to not get hit there by the, the, the F-Strong. It's the Willow Classic, just up tilt, up tilt neutral. But I think he's got great timing on it. For sure. I, I think it's a bit lenient on it as well, just in terms of where they are above you. Um, good call out. Big catch, and this is it. This is uh, Rice's winner stock. It's uh, either you you find two here, or, or uh, you go up down into losers. I think Rice is probably if, if this doesn't kill, he's probably gonna try and get uh, gear. The resets. Oh, that will kill, and he will get gear. <laughs> Why not both? I mean, if you can manage, go for it. Sure. <laughs> One of the things, it's, it, it's often good to parry mobile gear, but it's not just a, a, an answer like it is on so many projectiles, because it's still there and it's still moving. All it's doing is reversing, and the, the, the hitbox uh, isn't necessarily hitting you, but there's still a lot the Shovel Knight can do with it. Yeah, most of the time when I when I talk with Shovel Knight players and they throw it out, they're looking more for ugh, more for uh, the, the space denial and kind of Stuffing out uh, some options that players have. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's that really be, big. This can be the catch. Oh, oh misses. And this is this is the last hit. Both get. Oh. Oh. For a second, I thought that. Was <gasps> Let's go, Sam. Oh. Let's go, both players. Yeah, I. 